Okay, we got the first official guest on the couch with a series of interviews we're gonna be doing with uh, NEG TV, Came Up Canadian. So let's get right into it. Uh, who is uh, CBS? I'm just uh, an ordinary Cambridge-based rapper. Started off, didn't really know what kind of style I wanted to get into. Started listening to a lot of underground hip hop. Progressed more towards the horrorcore, kind of fit more my style. So I just been progressing with that. I do possess a lot of other style and techniques, but right now I'm just been concentrating on more of the underground horrorcore at the moment. So it's been doing good for me. Fans like it. Okay, uh, what are some other uh, horrorcore artists like that? Uh have that kind of style that, that you're into that well, you? Like a lot of uh, underground psych ward, uh, J Nice, which is part of psych ward, uh, Swan, probably some some names people don't know because they're they're really underground. A lot of people say you know Brother Lynch is uh, pretty hardcore, but he's kind of over the top. Yeah. I'm a little more mellow, but I still fall into that hardcore category so I just really respect all types of underground MCs. Uh, of course I'm a Battle Axe Warrior so I rep uh, the Bax War fan hard and I uh, basically thankful for a lot of the new followers that I've gained from being a Bax War member and uh, just I'm loyal to uh, the people that I work with uh, Dark Ages, uh, which is a group that me and my partner, uh, who goes by the name of Trick Points, have uh, formed. Uh, so that's going strong. We're hoping to drop uh, so, uh, a Dark Ages album sometime uh, early next year. Uh, I have an album coming out next year, a solo album called uh, Mass Meltdown. Uh, it features 22 tracks of uh, some good, uh, well-known underground MCs, a lot of local talent, plus myself. Uh, beat makers from all over the world, the UK, Switzerland. Uh, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. It's definitely going to be a, a dope album. Okay, uh, what do you think is the, the best thing about the Cambridge uh, hip hop scene? And what do you think is the worst thing about the Cambridge hip hop scene? Well, the best thing about the Cambridge hip hop scene is we have a lot of dope MCs that originate from Cambridge, Guelph, Kitchener, Toronto, Peterborough, everywhere around yeah. the Ontario. Um, a lot of MCs, uh, I find, are humble when you approach them and if you do have some type of skill and on the other hand, you get the people that are big headed and think they're better than you and they don't support and myself as me being CDS, which is my name just in my initials, Corey Vanderson. I, I came up from nothing and I, I want to give back to the fans and to other artists that are coming up in the game that the only way to really get ahead in the game is if you support to get support which i we have co-found a movement called support to get support media we haven't broke through it yet but it's still in the works again that was uh formed with my partner trip points so i just want to instill that type of knowledge and way to you know not be so big headed because you know you came from nothing just because you gain a little bit of respect in where you are doesn't mean you're better. You you don't give back to get support. So I, I, I live by that's, that model. That's definitely a great thing. Um, well, what do you feel has been your uh, biggest moment as a hip hop artist? Well, the first time I ever performed on stage was only one track, and it was at Club 77. I believe it was in uh, 2011. Um, I, I can't remember. It was uh, a little bit back. But uh, we opened up for Redman at right. Club 77 and um, a few other artists that are that were pretty higher than me at that time because I just started becoming serious with my music in 2010. I had been rapping since I was se uh, 16, 17, but I've just been more serious about it since 2010 and I feel that me opening up for that type of an artist on that type of a stage was just a set in the right direction for me and I just grabbed Definitely. Grabbed it and just went with it. That's so awesome to see Red in my Oh, it was like, yeah, it was yeah. one of the lifetime experiences for sure. Okay. Um, uh, what is your favorite kind of food? My favorite kind of food is, honestly, it's bacon. 
can't go wrong with bacon. Bacon and burgers. Uh, if you put bacon on anything, I'll probably eat it. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, you smoke uh, blunts or bongs? Uh, I smoke blunts and bongs. Actually, you my girls and I got addicted to smoking the bongs, so I just think I'm okay. getting for that. But <laughs> I usually like to go, you know, and play a couple of blunts and stuff after work, because, you know, like, I do have to work a full-time job, you know, I got family yeah. and stuff to feed, and all this music shit costs money, so that's, uh, until it really starts making money, I still have to maintain the job, so. Okay, uh, what do you feel is your best quality as an artist? Um, like I said, I'm humble. I don't, uh... When somebody asks me to collab or you know to listen to their music, you know I I, I don't shy away from it. Yeah. I listen to that, the music and I give them my knowledge and from where I started and what I think. Yeah. I tell them straight up. I give them good you know constructive criticism. Okay. Whether they that's how they take it, well, yeah. that's on them. But yeah, okay, what do you feel is your worst quality as an artist? Uh, I have a hard time trying to instill my work ethic on other people that I work alongside with, uh, and it's a hard thing to do. It's like right now I'm going hard. I want my name to stay out there and stay fresh. People knowing that I always am consistent with dropping tracks, and it's just hard to work alongside with some people that aren't as as strong as a work ethic as you, and uh, you know stay steady and. And it's just it gets in the way sometimes because it gets frustrating because you know you're you just and sometimes I have to remember you know I they're not me and I can't instill my work yeah. ethic and I just have to yeah. take it how it is and yeah. push forward at whatever I can do in the meantime and hopefully eventually what I'm stressing out about falls into place. So. Is uh, are there any last things you'd like to say to people before we go? Uh, I just want to say uh, thanks to Came Up Canadian for uh, having me here to do this interview. Uh, big respects to them. Shout out to Dark Ages. Shout out to Baxwar. Shout out to uh, Jamin Beats, strong producer, produces my whole album for Mass Meltdown. Get at him on Facebook if you're you need him beats, cheap prices. Uh, pretty much, just shout out respects. What do you think, buddy? Okay, that's IGTV, came up Canadian, and we're yeah. out. CBS, the whole course. Peace.